This film describes the flight experiments of an electric control system in the Avro 707C aircraft. The aircraft has two pilots side by side, the right-hand pilot having the electric transmission system and the left-hand pilot acting as safety pilot with conventional mechanical rods connected to the control surfaces. Some of the potential advantages of electric signalling were demonstrated, including the integration of automatic control features to provide selected desirable handling qualities. The system was evaluated over all phases of flight of the Avro 707 from takeoff to landing. This is a typical takeoff from rest with the electric system in operation. In this landing, the right hand pilot is flying through a simple electric link which is directly controlling the aileron and elevator positions, giving a similar effect as with the original mechanical rods. The left hand stick is connected to the surfaces at all times. And so you can see from this cockpit view what surface movements are being made by the electric system. Notice the pilot's activity in landing this aircraft when no automatic control assistance is given to the pilot. Automatic controls can be added more easily in an electric control system and one form has been demonstrated in the flight program called Maneuver Demand. With this system, the pilot's workload is considerably reduced from that seen to be necessary with the simple electric link. With a simple electric link to roll to a given angle of bank, the pilot has to move the stick in a complicated manner to overcome the inertia and aerodynamic effects of the aircraft. With the manoeuvre demand system, the required pilot stick movement to rapidly reach and maintain a bank angle is much simpler. The control surface motions required to overcome the inertia and aerodynamic effects are automatically applied. This view along the trailing edge of the wing shows the precise control offered by the manoeuvre demand system and you can now see directly the aileron movements automatically being applied to help the pilot achieve this precision. The pitching control of the aircraft is similarly improved by using a maneuver demand system. An important benefit in the case of the pitching control is an automatic trimming effect. As the aircraft is rolled to inverted flight, the slow motion sequence shows the elevator movement being automatically applied by the system to keep the aircraft flying level even in the minus 1G condition, thus relieving the pilot of this task. The maneuver demand control system also counteracts the effects of gusts at all times, even during maneuvers, because the system has full authority over the control surfaces. Near the ground, on this approach over buildings, there is a moderate amount of turbulence, and the maneuver demand system applies the necessary control actions. The aerodynamic effects of the ground, causing pitching of the aircraft, are also overcome, and the pilot only has to command the flare rotation which is achieved by a simple pitch rate command followed by centering the stick when the correct landing attitude has been reached. The nose wheel is lowered with another simple command. The rotation for takeoff is easily performed and the aerodynamic effects of raising the undercarriage and the reverse ground effect are automatically trimmed out. With present mechanical control systems, the pilot's control stick is large and has to have a large travel to accommodate the full control range. The top of the stick traces out an area some 12 inches square. With electric control, this can be replaced by a smaller controller and with maneuver demand, a small side controller is possible. This controller has command of two axes of control. Fore and aft linear deflections demand pitching rates and lateral rocking commands rates of roll. The main weight of the hand is supported on the hand rest 
and the mechanism is mass balanced to reduce unwanted effects of aircraft accelerations. These are typical movements for fairly vigorous maneuvers. Pilots learn to use the miniature controller in a very short time. In an average of 10 minutes familiarization, performing maneuvers at altitude, confidence is rapidly built up so that very tight approaches can be made. The quick response of the aircraft with maneuver demand control allows the pilot to accurately control the aircraft's flight path and flare a few feet above the runway and overshoot safely. The bank angle was taken off at the last moment in a precise manner. This sequence shows the same approach as seen from the cockpit. The turn is made using 45 degrees of bank over the threshold of the airfield. The runway will appear from the left. The flare and levelling out is performed together. Notice how still the right-hand pilot's body is during this exacting task, using the small side controller. Only a limited number of operational tasks were able to be assessed because of the flight limitations imposed on the prototype Avro 707C. A most important test conducted was the tracking of a target aircraft, a Meteor, at close range. The bank angle control afforded by the maneuver demand system enables the pilot to apply corrections of rate of turn very rapidly to keep the correct line of sight. Notice the rapid attainment of the necessary bank angle during this chase. As the target aircraft increases the bank to the left to well over 60 degrees, the 707 is made to follow in an easy, precise way. The test pilots tend to change bank angle when using this system in discrete steps, since a given angle can be easily held by simply centering the controller. This landing is on the short runway at RAE and was made using the maneuver demand system. Although the braking parachute was released immediately after deployment, the ground roll to rest was smooth. These flight experiments have demonstrated that maneuver demand control using a miniature controller has a large development potential. The next phase of the work on flight control is to fit a Hunter Mark 12 with a reliable maneuver demand system using the latest electronic techniques and investigate the performance of such a system over the full flight envelope, including high-speed flight at low altitude. The program will include the assessment of certain self-adaptive techniques and the integration of full autopilot functions with the primary maneuver demand electric system.